uh, fast enough to kind of see how it works. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of go back and, and get a view of the inside here. Maybe a view of the motor too. How the see if you if you can see in there you can see the shaft of the motor and the bushing that mounts the plate to the shaft of the motor it's a seven and a half horse three phase motor the fan is removed um, it never it's obviously not running at seven and a half horsepower because it's running on 120 volts single phase um, so it never builds up enough heat to worry about uh, the heat. It's uh, a little bit of a trick to get it started, but that's a different subject. Um, we're just talking about the construction of the grinding disc mostly. And the grinding disc is a piece of approximately 1 8 inch thick stainless steel that's welded to a regular steel hub that's mounted to the shaft. And these little teeth are approximately 3 quarters of an inch long and cut at an angle to cut those teeth to make those teeth I took the scraps corners cut off of this disc and using a, an abrasive cutoff saw I cut a three-quarter inch wide strip and then cut that into sections on an abrasive cutoff saw to get my uh, triangular or trapezoidal shaped irregular teeth there uh, sharpened them up a little bit and then TIG welded the front and the back of each tooth and this one fell off and that one fell off but otherwise it's worked if I were to do it over again I would use uh, instead of these teeth which was a pain in the butt and the it makes the apples too coarse in my opinion I would have cut uh, approximately three eighths inch wide strips and simply welded the strip there so it would be more of a crushing or a fine slicing action rather than a chipping action like these teeth. These are about a quarter of an inch high off of the surface. I think that's too much. I think it's too, uh, too aggressive. And the only other Thing I changed with this was the angle of the hopper in relation to the blade. The blade, the, the base is sitting at an angle, which is usually how I used it um, when grinding apples. Originally I had it at a steeper angle, about like this, and the apples would go through the chipper as fast as I could pour a five gallon bucket in. They'd shoot right out. They were a little chunkier than I'd like, and so I changed the angle the apples, uh, this is the angle that was in the video, the apples will go through but they'll also hang up and I'll end up using a piece of wood to jam them in there. They'll still go through pretty quick, you can put a five gallon bucket through pretty quick, but they don't go through automatically all on their own at this angle. I don't know what they would do with the blade instead of the teeth chipper wheel or the, the grinding wheel but that the I would probably keep this angle but that was the other thing that I they changed was the, the steeper angle and this hopper is is pretty flimsy now but it still works just fine for a five gallon bucket you can dump a five gallon bucket in and they'll either go through or they'll back up and you can mount 